Hi everyone, welcome to Knowledge Center. Today I am going to give you a brief idea about how to find highest common factor, in short HCF. Highest common factor can also be named as greatest common divisor or GCD. So in most of mathematic concepts we get to these kind of questions where you need to find an HCF. So now let's take an example to understand the basic concept of how to find an HCF. So let's take an example one. Find HCF of 9 and 21. So this is the example. So for first what we need to do here is let us take 9 and find the factors of 9. Factors of 9 is nothing but the numbers by which we can divide the 9. So here I am going to write it. So you can look into this. 1 into 9 we get 9. 3 3 is a 9. Then again we get 9 1 is a 9 which we already written as 1 into 9. So no need of repeating it. So here we can say the factors of 9 are 1, 3, 3, 9. This is how we need to read it. So we can write it here 1, 3 and 9 because 3 is coming for twice. So we can just take it 1. 1, 3 and 9 are factors of 9. So this is the first step. Find factors of 9 and then find factors of 21. So for 21 we can get it as 1 into 21. We can divide it by 1 and we can divide it by 3. 3 7 is a 21. Again we get 7 3 is a 21. It is a repeating number so no need of writing it. So the factors of 21 are 1 and 3, 7 and 21. So these are the num factors of 21. So this is first step. Step 1 is to find the factors of 9 and factors of 21 factors of the given numbers. Then you need to identify the common factors among these two. Here 1 and 3 are common factors but we need highest common factor. So the highest common factor among 9 and 21 is 3. Hence the HCF of 9 and 21 is 3. This is how we need to identify the HCF of any given set of numbers. Now to make it very clear let's take one more example. Let's move for the second question or second example where I have taken 16 and 48. So for this we need to find the factors HCF. So the factors of 16 first let's find this. Those are 1, 6, 2, 4, 4, 8 and 16. So 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. These are the factors by which we can divide the 16. Same way the factors of 18, 48 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24 and 48 means we can divide that 48 using these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24 and the same number 48 itself. So now let's see what is the common and highest common that is 16 here. So the HCF of 16 and 48 is 16. So with these two examples I hope it is very clear for you to find how to find HCF of any given number. right? Now I will give you an important concept that is a short trick, a simple trick to find the HCF without having this much of a methodology. So let's look into the short tricks. So here if I am taking an example of three numbers instead of two I am just increasing the number here. Find the HCF of 36, 24 and 12. So in this short trick first step is you just need to select the least number in the given set of numbers. So here 36, 24 and 12 among this 12 is the least number. So it is 12. Okay. So step 1 is to select the least number and step 2 is to find the highest factor by which all numbers should get divided. It means we have taken 12 as a number. For that 12 you need to find the factors of 12. So factors of 12 are 1, 2, even 3, 4 that 12, 4, 4, 6 and 12. So these are the factors of 12. Okay. So among those what is the highest factor? The number itself. 12 itself will be the highest factor. Now we need to check that 12 with other numbers. 24 can be divided by 12? Yes. 36 can be divided by 12? Yes. So 12 itself will be the answer. It is again 12. So HCF of this data is again 12. So I repeat this short trick. First find out the least number in the given set of numbers and in this in that least number second step is to find the highest factor of that least number and if it is divisible by all the numbers then that is the answer that is itself a HCF. 
If 12 is not the answer, then you need to go for the next list. That is, in this case, that is 6. Okay. So, that is how you need to find the answers within fraction of seconds. Now, you try for, we get another new cases here. Uh, let's see this case. This is a very special case here. We got 36, 27 and 80. Right. So, here 36 and 27 can be divisible by the common 9. But, 80 cannot be divided by that. So in this case, it's something different from the above cases. See, factors of 36 are, are written here. And factors of 27 and factors of 80. But here factors of 36 and 27 we get a common as 9. But we don't have any common numbers of factors of 80. So we are not getting all common numbers here. In this case the only common number is 1. So HCF of these number is 1. So if all these 3 numbers, 3 given numbers are not divisible by the same number. Then 1 will be the answer. That's the HCF of the set of number. Right. So I hope... Uh, you got all idea about the HCF here. I have given the short trick and also I have given the example basic concept of HCF and most important if all numbers are not divisible then one will be the HCF of the set of numbers. If it is clear just like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.